Hello, my name is Tobias Niekamp. I work at Microsoft on Azure native features for our SAP customers. And today I want to talk to you about our latest product, Azure Monitor for SAP Solutions, and show you how you can deploy a monitor for your SAP on Azure landscape within just a few minutes. Let's get started. So in the Azure portal, you want to go to the marketplace by clicking create a resource. And then here you want to search for Azure Monitor for SAP Solutions. This should be the first result that pops up. There it is. Click on Create, and this will launch a wizard that will go through the individual parameters we need to set. So first things first, we need a subscription. Um, we'll use this one here. We'll need a resource group where the monitor gets deployed into. I'll choose this one. Let's give the monitor a name. I'll go with submon-demo. Then we need to specify the region. This is important. It should be the region where your SAP resources are deployed. So I'll go with West US 2. Choose the virtual network where your SAP resources reside. This is vnet-sap. I need a subnet. This can either be an existing subnet um, or you can create a new one for the monitor. Either way is fine. I'll go with the database subnet for now. And here you can specify whether you want this wizard to create a new log analytics workspace for you. This is where the raw data gets stored or you can specify an existing one. Either way is fine. I'll let the wizard create a new one for me. And finally in here you need to specify if you want to share data with Microsoft, I would highly recommend you do that so that if you run into any trouble with your SAP on Azure Landscape, we can directly help you. Okay, click on next. Then on this screen, I can specify what we call providers. Essentially, they are connections to your source systems. And you can either specify that now or you can add them later. Um, I'll just add a provider now and show you later how it's deployed. So our solution currently ships with three different provider types. So we can connect to a SAP HANA database, we can connect to a high availability cluster based on Pacemaker, or a Microsoft SQL Server instance. I'll choose SAP HANA because this is what I have deployed. Then I have to give the provider a name. Typically you want to put your instance number in here, mine is called RU1, so I'll call it HANA-RU1. Then you need to specify an IP address. It's the IP address of the HANA instance. So you can put that or the host name, either way is fine. Then we need the tenant that we're going against. We highly recommend going against the um, system DB rather than the database tenant, since the system DB has additional monitoring views that we use for backup and replication telemetry. In the next field, you will need the port. This is typically three, then the instance number, 0113, if you go with SystemDB. You need the username and the password. The password can either be entered here directly, which is what I'm doing, or you could specify an existing key vault um, if you want to go extra safe. OK, so I can add the provider. Here it is. And now I'm ready to create my monitor. I hit review and create. And this will just take a few minutes. After that, I'll see you in a bit. And we're back. That was quick. This is how our new SAP monitor resource that we just deployed actually looks like. And I want to show you where to go from here. So from this overview, you want to go to Settings, Providers. And this will load all the providers that we added. Currently, it's just the HANA-RU1. But if I wanted to, I could go ahead and add a new source system connection. It can be another HANA system, or it could be a pacemaker or SQL server. More provider types to come in the future. If you want to go ahead and see the monitoring data, you actually want to click on the provider type, SAP HANA, from here. And this gets you into what we call 
a workbook, which is essentially a dashboard with the metrics that are collected by the monitor. So in here, you would see an overview, um, for example, with the different services that are up and running in the database, further information on uh, utilization, backup status, uh, replication, HSR, and many other things to come in the future. This concludes our demo. We hope you enjoyed it and please let us know what you think and if you have any questions. Thanks again and have a great day.